Hey Grace Posse, welcome back to the Daily Devotion. Hope you guys are doing well today. Today we're going to talk about with great power. Our focal passage is going to come from Judges chapter 16 verse 22 which says, But the hair of his head began to grow after it had been shaved. Bitten by an experimental spider, Peter Parker has acquired some abilities of the spider as well as a proportional strength. After using the strength to win a fight with Flash Thompson, Peter is confronted by his Uncle Ben in a scene from the film Spider-Man. Remember, says Ben, with great power comes great responsibility. Peter ignores the advice when he has the opportunity to stop a man who has committed a robbery. Peter lets the man go, and the man ends up shooting and killing Uncle Ben. Samson also had great power because his mother followed the angel's directive and raised Samson as a Nazarite, one separated and consecrated to God, so that he could begin to save Israel from the hand of the Philistines, as we see in chapter 13, verse 5. Samson took his great power for granted and led a sinful life, expecting God to bail him out again and again. When Samson told Delilah that the secret of his strength was his long hair, Delilah had a man shave off Samson's hair. God allowed the Philistines to overpower Samson, gouge out his eyes, and take him as a prisoner. But God also allowed Samson to live long enough for his hair to grow back, which was enough time for Samson to understand that his strength came from God and not his hair. When Samson was brought out to entertain 3,000 Philistines, he called out to God and asked for strength one more time, and God granted him his request. Pushing against two pillars that supported the roof, Samson literally brought the house down, killing everyone inside. You may not have enough the strength of Samson, but God has blessed you in many ways. You will use, how will you use those blessings? When you choose to use them to honor God, other people are blessed, and so are you. So let's look at this passage and verse in context. Judges chapter 16, verses 18 through 22, and then we look at verses 28 through 30. When Delilah saw that, she, that he had told her all of his heart, she sent and called the lords of the Philistines, saying, Come up again, and he has told us all his heart. And then the lords of the Philistines came up to her and brought the money in their hands. She made him sleep on her knees, and she called a man, and he came and shaved his off seven locks of his head. Then she began to torment him, and his strength left him. And she said, See, the Philistines are upon you, for Samson. And he awoke from his sleep and said, I will go out as at other times and shake myself free. But he did not know that the Lord had left him. And the Philistines seized him and gouged out his eyes and brought him down to Gaza, and bound him in bronze shackles. And he ground the, mi the mill in the prison. But his, the hair of his head began to grow again after it had been shaved. And when Samson called on the Lord, he said, O Lord God, please remember me, and please strengthen me only once more. But God, O God, that I may avenge the Philistines, for my two eyes. And Samson grasped the two pillars on which the house rested, and he leaned against it with all of his weight, and right, his right hand on one and his left hand on the other, and Samson said, Let me die with the Philistines. Then he bowed with the, all of his strength, and the house fell upon the lords and upon the people who were in it, so that the dead who were killed at his death 
were more than those that he had killed during his life. So let's look at some questions that we can reflect on and draw some application from. What are the primary abilities with which God has blessed you? How often do you thank God for them and do you use them for His honor, for, to honor God and bless others? As often as you should, how did Samson respond to losing his strength? How do you respond to losing something important to your identity? Why did God give Samson one more chance? How many chances has God given you and why? Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Father, remind us that our strength does not come from an economic success or even our accomplishments, our family, or even ourselves. But every good and perfect gift comes from you. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you guys, and I'll see you next time.